Welcome to a journey through time, where we explore the dramatic shift in human diets from the Paleolithic era to the agricultural revolution and its profound effects on human health and society. Today, we delve into the ancient world, compare diets across civilizations, and unveil why a diet rich in animal proteins may align more closely with our evolutionary needs. Over the last decade, researchers have increasingly utilized computed tomography, CT, scans to study mummified remains, providing a window into the health conditions and diseases that afflicted ancient populations. Join us as we uncover the secrets of ancient diets, backed by modern scientific research and what they mean for us today. The evolution of human diets. For the majority of human existence, spanning roughly two million years, our ancestors thrived as hunter-gatherers. Their diets were diverse, predominantly consisting of meat, fish, fruits, nuts, and vegetables, depending on their geographical location. This all changed approximately 10,000 to 12,000 years ago with the advent of agriculture. The agricultural revolution marked a significant turning point, introducing grains as dietary staples. This transition, while enabling societal advancements, brought about drastic changes in human health. Study reference, origins and evolution of the Western diet, health implications for the 21st century, 2005. This study discusses how changes in diet since the Neolithic Revolution have impacted human health. Ancient Egypt, a case study in dietary shifts. Ancient Egypt's reliance on a carbohydrate-rich diet, particularly wheat and barley, which were staples of their daily consumption. These grains were used to make bread and beer, the most common food and drink for Egyptians across all social classes. While this diet provided essential carbohydrates and nutrients, it was also low in diversity, particularly in terms of fresh fruits, vegetables, meat, and animal fats, which were less commonly consumed. The reliance on a diet rich in cereals and carbohydrates has led researchers to speculate about its impact on the health of ancient Egyptians, particularly in terms of diseases like diabetes, obesity, and atherosclerosis. A landmark study that significantly contributed to this field is Atherosclerosis in Ancient Egyptian Mummies, the Horus study, published in JAMA in 2011. This study revealed that atherosclerosis, commonly thought to be a modern disease associated with contemporary dietary and lifestyle factors, was also present in ancient populations. The researchers examined 52 ancient Egyptian mummies with CT scans and found signs of atherosclerosis in more than half of them. This finding was surprising to many and led to further investigation into the diets and lifestyles of ancient Egyptians. Atherosclerosis in Ancient Egyptian Mummies The Horus Study, published in JAMA in 2011. The Horus Study, UCLA, 2011, examining Egyptian mummies revealed prevalent cases of diseases like atherosclerosis, obesity and dental issues, mirroring modern health concerns associated with high-carb diets diseases common among ancient Egyptians. Atherosclerosis, as revealed by CT scans of mummified remains. Ancient Egyptians suffered from atherosclerosis, a condition often associated with diets high in carbohydrates and sedentary lifestyles. This condition was less common in hunter-gatherer societies of the same era, which had more varied and less carbohydrate-dominant diets. Obesity. Obesity was depicted in art and noted in medical texts of the time, likely a result of high carbohydrate intake and minimal physical activity among the elite. Obesity is a condition that was not widely reported in nomadic or hunter-gatherer societies of the same period. Dental problems. The Egyptians' diet, rich in grains, resulted in significant dental issues, including tooth wear, cavities, and abscesses due to the grit and sand in their bread and the high sugar content in their diet. These dental problems were less prevalent in populations with diets that included less processed grains. Diabetes. While direct evidence is scarce, the prevalence of obesity and a high-carbohydrate diet in ancient Egypt may have contributed to cases of type 2 diabetes, similar to patterns observed in modern societies. Osteoarthritis. Evidence of osteoarthritis is seen in many mummified remains, likely exacerbated by physical labor but also by obesity, a risk factor for this condition. Other civilizations with less sedentary lifestyles and lower rates of obesity might not have experienced osteoarthritis with the same frequency. Gallstones and Kidney Stones 
Diets high in fat and certain minerals may have contributed to the development of gallstones and kidney stones. Conditions also found in mummified remains. Comparison with other civilizations. Comparatively, looking at other ancient civilizations from the same period, but with a predominantly meat-based diet, such as the Inuit of the Arctic regions, presents an interesting contrast. The Inuit diet was rich in fish, marine mammals, and land animals providing a high intake of protein and omega-3 fatty acids, which are known to have protective effects against heart disease. Despite the harsh living conditions and the challenges in securing fresh plant-based foods, the traditional Inuit diet is often cited as being remarkably heart-healthy, primarily due to its high omega-3 fatty acid content, the benefits of a meat-dominant diet. Contrasting ancient Egyptian diets, hunter-gatherer societies and civilizations that consumed predominantly, meat-based diets exhibited fewer signs of what we now recognize as lifestyle diseases. Inuit peoples predominantly consumed marine animals, fish, and land mammals, which provided a diet high in protein and omega-3 fatty acids, but low in carbohydrates. This diet is linked with lower instances of cardiovascular diseases and diabetes. Mongolian nomads relied on a diet rich in dairy products and meat, leading to a different health profile, potentially lower in obesity and related metabolic disorders compared to agricultural societies. Hunter-gatherer societies had more diverse diets based on wild plants and animals. They were generally leaner and less likely to suffer from diseases like obesity, diabetes, and dental problems. The health outcomes of these two contrasting diets the grain-based diet of the ancient Egyptians and the meat-based diet of the Inuit and others have been the subject of much debate. While both populations exhibited certain health issues, the prevalence of atherosclerosis and related cardiovascular diseases appears to have been significantly higher among the ancient Egyptians. This suggests that, despite the ancient Egyptians' advanced civilization and agricultural practices, their heavy reliance on a grain-based diet may have had adverse health effects, particularly in terms of cardiovascular health. Study reference. Health effects of vegan diets. 2009. This paper reviews the health outcomes associated with vegan and omnivorous diets. Study reference. Stable isotope and DNA evidence for ritual sequences in Inca child. 2007. While focusing on Inca mummies, this study offers insights into ancient dietary practices through isotope analysis, modern diseases, and ancient solutions. Exploring the prevalence of modern diseases such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and obesity in the context of ancient diets provides insight into how shifts in dietary patterns contribute to health outcomes. The absence of these chronic conditions in hunter-gatherer societies suggests that revisiting aspects of ancient diets could offer solutions to contemporary health crises. Recent debates among nutritionists and scientists focus on the health implications of plant-based versus animal-based diets. While plant-based diets are praised for their environmental benefits and potential to reduce the risk of certain diseases, critics argue that animal-based diets provide essential nutrients that are difficult to obtain from plants alone, such as vitamin B12, iron, and certain amino acids. In conclusion, the use of CT scans to examine mummified remains has provided valuable insights into the health and diet of ancient populations. The evidence of atherosclerosis in ancient Egyptian mummies challenges the perception of it as a purely modern disease and highlights the impact of diet on health. Comparing the grain-based diet of ancient Egyptians with the meat-based diet of other ancient populations such as Inuits offers a fascinating glimpse into how different diets may contribute to or protect against certain diseases. This comparative study underscores the complexity of dietary effects on health and the importance of a balanced diet that includes a variety of nutrients. The comparison underscores a significant health dichotomy between ancient Egyptian society and its contemporaries that led less sedentary lifestyles and had more varied diets. The ancient Egyptians' reliance on a carbohydrate-rich, grain-based diet and a sedentary lifestyle among the elite predisposed them to a range of health issues that mirror those in modern societies. In contrast, civilizations with diets low in processed grains and sugars and lifestyles that involved more physical activity face these conditions at markedly lower rates. This historical perspective highlights the profound impact of diet and lifestyle on health. Echoing into modern public health discussions, plant chemicals, 
and modern diseases. Modern diets rich in certain plant-based foods introduce chemicals like oxalates, which can contribute to conditions such as kidney stones, inflammation, and nutrient absorption issues. Study reference. The Impact of Dietary Oxalate on Kidney Stone Formation, 2008. This study explores how oxalate intake from food can affect the formation of kidney stones, ancient diseases versus modern conditions. A comparison between the diseases found in ancient Egyptian remains and those prevalent in modern societies reveals striking similarities, including cancer, diabetes, and cardiovascular diseases. However, societies consuming mostly meat-based diets during the same period show a different health profile suggesting that animal products may offer a diet more suited to human evolutionary needs. Our exploration through the ages reveals a compelling narrative. The shift from hunter-gatherer diets to agriculture-based diets has profound implications for human health. Ancient Egyptian dietary practices, rich in grains and carbohydrates, mirror the health challenges faced by modern societies, underscoring the potential benefits of a diet low in carbs and rich in animal proteins. These insights, backed by scientific research, invite us to reconsider our dietary choices in light of our evolutionary history and the lessons learned from ancient civilizations. As we close this chapter of our nutritional odyssey, it's clear that the keys to a healthier future may well lie in the eating patterns of the past. By embracing the diversity of foods that fueled human evolution and recognizing the value of both plant and animal-based nutrients, we can forge a path toward improved health and well-being. For a deeper dive into today's topics, check out the links to all reference studies in the description below. And join us in expanding the conversation about our health and nutrition. Thank you for joining this enlightening journey across millennia to rediscover wellness through ancient wisdom. As we conclude our odyssey, we're reminded of the power of ancient diets to inform and transform our modern lifestyle choices. Your engagement and curiosity are crucial as we continue to explore and share these timeless nutritional insights. If this journey has sparked your interest, remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insights into how we can align our diets with our ancestral roots for optimal health. Until next time, stay curious, stay healthy, and keep exploring the vast world of nutrition and wellness. Cheers to a vibrant life, guided by the wisdom of our ancestors.